If it looks like I kind of just woke up, it's because I kind of just did. and welcome back to my channel so we are going to be trying a few new products in this video which i was very excited to try out but first we are going to be going in with a primer which i'm going to be using my laura mercier foundation hydrating primer and working that into my biggest problematic areas which is under my eyes so do that like so and the new foundation that i'm going to be trying is the Too faced born this way foundation i didn't really know if you were supposed to shake it or not but i did anyway since that's what i'm used to so i'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand and just use my ring finger to dot it all over my face and don't forget to blend it on your neck as well ladies because you don't want to be two different colors next i'm going to be taking my beauty blender and then just blending that out and in this next clip you can tell how like amazed i am with this foundation because it just that was one like not swipe but like one application of the foundation and it just worked out so well so and then this is me getting very upset at the last episode of the end of the effing world on netflix um, but I did my brows off camera since it's kind of a redundant thing. But now we are going to be going into the new Kylie Cosmetics palette, which is the Blue Honey palette. I really didn't know what I was going to be doing with this palette. But the first shade we are going to be going into is called Honeymoon. And we're going to be using that as a transition color to help with the darker color that we are going to be using on the outer corner of our eye. So you'll just take a... Um, big fluffy blending brush and just blend that into your crease like so and clearly still not knowing what it what to do um, the next color I'm gonna be taking is called blue honey which is kind of this teal color um, I'm gonna be taking like three different brushes um, for this color but like any dark color you'll just want to use little amounts each time so I'm going to be taking a more dense and more tapered brush to define the outer corner of my eye and then I'm going to be taking a looser type tapered brush to um, transport the color onto my eye of course so then I'm going to be going in with some concealer it's going to be me my shape tape from Tarte and I think I'm in light medium to be honest and I've become so obsessed with this half cut crease that Nicole Guerrero is doing that I just can't get away from it when I do my makeup as well. So just use the technique of putting it on your eyelid and looking up to find the location of where you want to put your cut crease and then you'll just want to blend that out. The next color that we're going to be using for our lid color is going to be called Sweet Like Honey in the palette and I'm going to be taking a flat shader brush and we're just going to be packing that color onto our eye and then you'll just want to blend the blue honey color to bleed into it to make an ombre type situation going on in your eye and then you'll just want to repeat the process on your other eye your other eye is basically finished we are going to be using going back into the shape tape concealer from Tarte and just highlighting and concealing under your eyes and then you'll just want to blend that out with whatever like smaller applicator brush I found this to be easier for me to blend it part way like this and then blending it the rest of the way with a beauty blender
And then once it's all tapped out and blended, I'm gonna be taking my Fiona Styles setting powder in light medium, I believe, also. So you'll just wanna tap it out and then make sure to look up so you don't set any creases as well. And then next I'm going to be um, not prepping my lashes, I'm just going to be going in with my Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced as well. This video is not sponsored by them, they just have amazing products. So, next I'm just gonna be bronzing up my face like normal, like my cheekbones, my forehead, and my chin, and my neck as well. And then because I wanted to be a little extra today, I went in and contoured my nose with the same bronzer that I used. I've learned to embrace my big nose for some odd reason, so I don't really contour my nose because it's not a necessary thing in my life. So then back to the eyes, we're gonna go back into that blue honey um, color from the palette and just run it under our lash line. I try and do this as quick as possible as you can see. This is not sped up. I just hate doing this, so I don't know why I torture myself and do it. And because I skipped falsies again, I'm just gonna go in with a second coat of mascara on my top lashes and then I'm going to be hitting my bottom lashes. And for highlight today, I'm gonna be going into the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette and using this shade here. And let me tell you guys, I was completely, utterly shook by how amazing this highlight came out. Like, it's just blinding you about as much as the Nicole Guerrero Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So once the highlight is done, this look is basically done. So I hope you guys enjoyed me rambling and I will see you guys in the next video. All right guys, this is the finished result. I am actually really impressed by the foundation from Too Faced, the Born This Way foundation. Like, holy, holy. I'm surprised that I actually got my color right too. Which I never really do, so I always have to like mix foundations to get my um, exact color, but the fact that I have one foundation that is my color is amazing, 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 and I'm pretty impressed by the new Kylie Blue Honey palette. I really like the colors in here. They're different. It really reminds me of Winnie the Pooh for some reason, so that's why I kind of did it this way with the teal on the outer corner and then the lighter color, like the honey color on the inside. So, and I'm shook buy this highlighter in the Carly Bible palette. I know I shouldn't be because I wore an eye look with it, but like, I'm, I'm shook, shook, I tell you. I think that is it for this video, but before you leave, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and remember to click the little bell on the subscribe button to let you know when I post new videos, which is every Thursday now. And yeah, I really don't have anything else to say except I love you, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.